Okay, sure. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see what to do. Nimsu Indian. This line, which is very dodgy, if I remember correctly. But BC is not supposed to be the most accurate move. I think I had a game like this in Reykjavik Open a few years ago, in which I was successful in the end. So it should be so far so good, I guess. Of course, white is very solid. Mm -hmm. So question, should I play to keep the bishop or not? But I think this is the most safe choice. Uh, Somehow I'm not I'm not that happy about my chances actually. I thought I would have have an easier game than when it looks. So let's see. Bishop c6 is a bit ugly, but I couldn't see how to defend the pawn on d7 otherwise. So now rook c8, he takes, he takes an fc, should be okay for me. Let's see, knight b5 is a move to attack a7, but Looks a bit vague. Okay, so basically, I should be okay, but the question is if I can aspire for something more. Probably not. Also, I should make very sure not to spend too much time here. So it might quickly get out of control. Let's see, queen, queen g5 or queen f6 are the moves I'm considering. Of course, rook, something like rook e8 is also very solid. Let's see, queen f6. More ambitious, but uh, also more interesting, hopefully. So he wants to take an a7, but it looks a bit... Can I give it? Should I just play a5? I'm a bit worried about my time. Seems my time management is not optimal. That position should be okay still. Now he takes an f6, I take with the knight, he can go e5, which I underestimated, but probably I'm still doing okay. Yeah. Must be fine for me. Especially now he has to go a little bit on the defense with his rook, uh, he doesn't. So if I take, what is his ID? Yes, knight e6, rook c3 perhaps. Or, uh -huh, let's see. So now we are trading most of the stuff. Looks very drawish. I'm offering a draw. I was maybe slightly, slightly more pleasant in the end, but. Uh, also, I was a bit low on time, so a draw should be fine. Basically, a pretty boring game as far as I could tell. Let's see now. So, mm -hmm. what is this? I think this is some sort of theory, but I'm not entirely sure. That is. Uh, So he wants to go knight fd7, I think, because the other knight belongs on c6. And now, yeah, I wanted to go knight b3 at first, but then I think knight a4 is very strong. So I need to, I need to first stop that. And basically my idea is sort of Venker style to just attack on the king and queen side. So this is an interesting move. He wants to stop knight b3 and also bishop a3. If it works, it could be very irritating for me. Uh, but does he have anything else tonight? Ah, he goes to a6 instead. I didn't really consider that move. Yeah, now I should probably not waste too much time. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Can I play rook a2? With ID queen a1, or is it too slow? Knight b3, bishop a4, take, take, bishop d4, take, take. 
give some exchange. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, I'm again wasting way too much time. Yeah? So I'm not super happy with what I'm doing. Queen A1. Am I rendering something? Not yet. It doesn't want, I want to provoke e5 because I think e5 limits his bishop quite a lot. Uh, but that's more or less my only, only plan. So now it seems like I, did I blunder the exchange? Or did I not? It looks like I blunder the exchange. That was not brilliant. Let's see, bishop a3, knight a2, bishop c5, yes, knight c3, and yeah, it doesn't work. Bishop d4, take. Take, then I'm losing the full rook, even worse. Yeah, it's shit. Oops. Okay, I guess I should just play on, yeah, and see. No, okay, I don't know, it's, it's really bad, this, Let's see. We can even go b6 later on. Even now, maybe b6 is quite good. And also, I'm way low, way down on time. Yeah, this was not uh, what I was wishing for. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's really very ugly. I have absolutely no compensation. I don't see any compensation for the bomb. And I'm getting a bit low on time. Let's just try to make some random moves and see if I can trick him somehow. Would be nice to somehow trap his knight, but unlikely. Now he goes e5. Eh? Mm -hmm. So if I take twice, he has e4. Can I play maybe the bishop? Let's try something here. I want to put my bishop on d6 and then see what happens. Or even on c5 maybe. Even on d6. But he has bishop f8 if he wants, so it doesn't really. Ah, bishop f8, it's hanging on e5. Okay, I guess I should speed up and hope for the best, but I'm not optimistic. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, yeah, I guess I will have to take. Now I guess at least I have one pawn, but he managed to trade everything he wanted to trade. So. Not, not super great. Huh? Okay, now I will have to try something with my pawn on on the c5. Let's see. Now it really should be Ah, fuck. come on. Ay, 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 I did not have enough time there to. Yeah, okay. But I really think it was, he misplayed it a bit, should have been, uh, should have been a draw in the, in the ending. Okay, what to do? I would have lost some time anyway. Let's see now. Seems he prepared the names to Indian for this match. Let's see now, can I play? Uh, let's try something a bit spicier. G knight f3. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wasn't aware knight f3 was a move. I thought I thought g4 was possible here, but I'm not sure. I mean, my idea is that I will just collect this pawn on d4 and then see. Uh, yeah, looks pretty decent. It's a pawn. Now I think I can 
Can I play B5? Is it a bit, is it a bit too much to ask? B5, Queen D1. Why not? Let's try. This is beginning to look like some huge mess. But I never I never had anything against huge messes throughout my career, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much. Maybe especially so. I mean if I haven't blundered anything, I think I'm I don't think that he should have enough compensation for the pawn. So let's see. What should I play? I don't really want him to cast a short, but I would assume it's the best move. Uh, let's see, can I play? Problem is I don't really want to castle myself too early. What about knight e4? Or is it a bit? I take, take. Uh, Bishop d6 is another move, then he takes on d5. She don't really want. Let me just take and see. Okay, why did I take this guy? It's very strange. Shit, bishop g5 now. Right? And stuff is really starting to hang. This was very, very bad decision making for me. I don't see what I do after bishop g5. Uh -huh, queen b1 double attack knight d6 he has some trick like knight g6 is it so bad what about knight e7 then he goes bishop g5 shit okay oh yeah let's see but it's really not very nice takes takes on d6 what did i do bishop f5 this was terrible. Ay, ay, ay. And I'm a minute down as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I have any tricks. Maybe the ending is my best chance. Uh, it doesn't have to go to the ending, you can just move the bishop. Uh -huh. It was also a bit sad for me. Yeah, no, it's probably not, not very nice. Ay, 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 very, very dubious. Uh -huh. Oh, my rook is hanging. Let's see if I'm dead lost or I can try to trick him somehow. But I think the problem is that he is the one who is generally tricking me, so... Uh, let's see, take, take... Yeah. And time. Time is, I think, the biggest issue here. Apart from the fact that... Okay. Losing a piece. Okay, very bad game. I played too slowly and not well enough. Mm, now I need to do a bit better. Let's see. With white, what to do? Let's see. He goes again for this. Let's see. This time I will try to stop him. Uh -huh. I generally didn't think that you were supposed to let white advance like that, but let's see. Maybe it's fine. Uh, again, I'm a bit slow. Let's see.
should maybe try to be a bit more active. Mm. I'm fairly sure that I'm doing quite well now because I have pressure on D5. I have slightly better structure and I don't really have anything majorly wrong with the position, but, but let's see. Maybe it's also just not big enough to be called an advantage. Well, I have to say, I, I really, really enjoy my position now. Let's see, attack d5, create my only bad piece. Uh -huh, this I would should probably not have allowed, but let's see. Let's try to play it simple. Ah, but now we can put this rook on behind the pawn, yeah? That was not uh, what I was dreaming of. Let's see. Knight a5, he goes rook b6. What about, okay, just bringing the king. Ah, I want to move too slow. This was my, I should have gone knight a5 with the move before. Now it doesn't make any sense for me. Okay, I need to try. So of course not agreeing for to any draw here. Also, despite all my previous inaccuracies, I should still be be a bit better here. I think. Let's see now. I need to keep my rook. I think otherwise the king will come quite quickly for. See, f3, e4, I would like to play if I can. Uh huh, this I sort of missed or underestimated, missed more than, more than anything else. Shit. Okay, king comes to d4. It's not so bad actually. Rook b7, he has to play. Rook a6, he has to go back. See now, he doesn't. Uh huh. And this is not good for me. Very strange. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Looks very good for me, to my eyes. Uh, I mean, here we will both lose our rooks for the pawns, and then I have four against three, and my king is closer. So, yeah. Okay, so that was actually smoother than uh, than expected. And I'm on the scoreboard, but probably it was Roy's ending, but Black was always under some pressure. Let's see. Let's try something else. See what he has prepared for me. Mm -hmm. This line, huh? how was it again? I'm supposed to play. Let's see. Something like this, I think. Ah, no, I, I again blundered. Not blundered, but I mixed up the move order once more. What to do now? B6, he wants to play C4, huh? that's the idea. Okay, E6, C4, take. Yes, I have to take. But these endings, if you don't get anything very, very quickly with black, you're quite a bit worse. I'm not, uh, not proud of myself here. Let's see, so I need to play F5 next. 
if if uh, if this is supposed this is going to work at all should i play f5 immediately or should i play i think he was f3 and eh? just covering everything up bishop g5 is another potentially annoying move now i just want to play knight e5 and maybe i will also throw in this trade on e4 somewhere in the mix let's see Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not so easy. Huh? H4 is interesting. He wants to attack, but I'm not sure if it's the right position for such drastic measures. Let's see. I think I have decent counterplay now. I think this H4 is, I mean, sometimes you can do it, but uh, in this structure, uh, uh the center is a bit too fluid in my opinion but uh it wouldn't be the first time i'm wrong let's see bishop f5 king d2 some b5 i have let's try b5 he goes maybe take take knight f4 and then take ah okay i think i have decent gun to play against the center now I really don't uh, like my position at all. Uh, but it's of course still a mess. If, if I don't get anything concrete, he has some, some advantages as well. And now if he takes on f5, I can take on d5 first, I think. Not sure if that's something I want to do, but... Takes, takes, I want to play, I want to take with the rook, because I want to have this... Uh, Rook e8 resource. I thought his king was possibly not having too many good squares. And I have a pin on the on the e file. So bishop d4 is a threat. This check, I give a check. As far as I can see, he's losing something now, but uh, but again, uh, who knows? Mm -hmm. So okay, two two. That was Risky, I think, uh, because I was potentially quite a lot worse in the after the opening. But I think blitz the green field is always very tricky. Let's see what should I do now. Let's play c4 instead. C6. Uh -huh. Let's see. Now, if he goes for d4 setups, then at least uh, he will play c5 in two moves instead of one. This is my main, my big idea. Let's see. Can I go queen b3? Knight bd7, he should maybe play now to. Uh, mm -hmm, he wants to, uh, to have knight c5 after bishop e3, I think. But let's. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure. It's because here I thought such positions I will open the c file and I will move my bishop and somehow get get maybe e4 at some moment. It's often quite, uh, quite scary for black. Uh, ah, but queen d6, he goes back. And this I did not. I did not consider, let's see. So if I take, it takes with C maybe. That's very dangerous. Let's see. We can also take on B3 first. Here I was hoping that I would have some E4. E4 break, but take, 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 take. Maybe, maybe it works, maybe not. Let's not, <laughs> let's not gamble. So now I want E4 and then, uh, E4. Ah, he takes now on B3. Maybe I should. I think he should have taken on B3 because now, again, his bishop is a bit out of squares. And if he moves, I have some E5. Yeah, I think it's beginning to look pretty nice. E5, knight at D5. I will take twice. Is it good for me, or is it nothing special? Knight F5 is also. Knight F5 looks more nice. Planning for initiative rather than structure is sort of my, was always my philosophy. If he opens the e file, I mean, he can move the king later. It's not clear if I have anything direct, but I think my initiative, even long term, should be pretty, pretty nice. Let's see. But still, what else? Yeah, I think maybe he has to take. So if he allows me to take on e7. 
or even knight d6 or take on e7 first or knight d3 which one should i do h6 is also hanging but i'm not interested maybe knight d6 ah but he takes and plays knight c4 this was very bad and he does he missed it for me he was playing maybe too fast now again i'm uh, i mean my bishop is pretty pretty strong on the let's see just not to blunder anything stupid with knight c4 now he goes knight b4 threatens on c2 but i'm not so i cannot even do it actually i saw so this should be seven or b7 yeah it doesn't give me so much no it might be five maybe maybe bishop bishop back one doesn't look nice at all but I didn't know what to do, so I just sort of made it. I mean, I stopped knight b5, but he can go to e8, for instance. Let's see. Maybe now some knight c5. I mean, if... Mm -hmm. He anyways go and goes there, takes, then he takes with a. Like play bishop b7. Should just make a move, I guess. So now... Knight d6 is an issue for him, maybe. Also a4 and then knight d6 is interesting. I'm expecting him to play knight the other way than he did. <laughs> uh, because this I thought was very dangerous for him, but... Maybe I'm overestimating it a bit for me, let's see. Can I go to a7? It looks incredibly stupid. That's sort of why I want to do it. But it's too stupid, maybe. Let's play it simpler. So b6, then he, uh, before he goes b6, yeah, bishop d4, he takes my pawn. Uh, maybe a5 is very nice positionally, but okay, let's try. But, uh, but, uh, but I'm running out of sort of plans now. I think I, uh, I could have gotten much more than I got here. I should play f4 next, I think. But he will play g5. Mm -hmm, he doesn't play. Ah, I think maybe he blundered this pawn f7. I'm hoping he blundered, but at least I don't really see why. Why it wasn't hanging. Rook f8, I can take an h6 as well. See, this is beginning to look pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Make some random jumps. Now I want Bishop Knight C5. I think he allowed E6. Ah, fuck! He tricked me. But maybe I have the last trick. This was very lucky. Yeah. Very lucky win there. I mean, uh, that he that we had knight f4, which I think no one saw in advance coming. So, well, on the other hand, he was a bit low on time because his position was difficult to play. So, so let's see what happens now. Let's try something else, not to get completely cracked in the opening. Uh huh. Bishop f4. It's very reliable system with h6 a6 i want to play but he didn't allow it what is this now did i castle too early sometimes it's very dangerous to castle early here this time i think maybe it's okay uh, if i take now he takes with the knight do i want it or do i don't don't i if you take with the pawn, I think maybe e5 is falling. I was hoping I have knight g4 and then just take on e5. Probably he has some trick against it, but then at least let him show show me. Let's see. Hmm. I mean knight d4, knight takes e5, f4, and then f5 maybe and attack like this. So that uh, seems difficult to believe. 
Now if I take, he takes, takes, he plays f4. Knight c4, f4. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not convinced by his sacrifices. And I'm also not convinced that they are sacrifices. So. At least not this one, so. Yeah. Bishop d7 was my idea. Now I'm feeling a bit skeptical that maybe I allowed again too much. Bishop c6, he plays queen g4, g6, queen g5. Am I getting mated? If I play g6 myself, it's also dangerous. Rook e8 maybe, safest. Then he goes knight d5. So not nice. Yeah. This was not, not good. Not what I wanted from this game. I mean, I should have played g6 and just somehow defended against this queen coming to g7, but um, it was for some reason I did not. I did not like it. Now queen h5. And then some rook lift. I'm not sure. Generally here my idea is that uh, that my bishop is super strong on uh, on uh, this, this on c6. But now he played a very good move, I think, to yeah, this is now not looking nice at all. Queen rook f3 he wants, and then queen g6, queen h4, and he's on my d5 is maybe another issue. See, I take, I play queen, queen e3, king h1 is not good. I go, I to move. But this was a bit surprising because now I don't think I'm worse. Or um, or is the pawn just falling here? Ah, uh, maybe the pawn is just falling. Yeah, it's just falling. Shit. What about rook e2? Let's see. But I'm, yeah, I'm not sure about this. It's now f7. I'm not in time to take on g7. Yeah, that's my my big problem. So rook takes c7, rook takes b2. There is rook f1, which is a major major problem for me. Is it? Is it so clear? I have some ideas with uh, some the vague counterplay in the end. Yeah, this is maybe a better move. I have to play rook d8. He plays d7. Ah, okay, I missed this. Now he's just promoting. Yeah. This was completely unnecessary, I think. This rook ending should be good in long chances, but correct play. Hmm. Okay, what to do? Um. What did I do last time? I got a nice position. Yeah, C4 I played. Yeah. Again, same. Uh, same sort of setup. What if I take? It takes with this pawn, and sort of I should have guessed. Yeah, and uh, normally in these positions, if black is a bit accurate, then white has absolutely nothing. Bishop g4 is sort of rare or strange or however you want to put it but because i think all uh, always when you go c5 d4 you are you're worse with black and if you take there is at least potential for white but, uh, now let's see if my if my claim is true let's see let's put it where should i put my stuff Maybe to f3. Looks very strange, but I want the other square for my my c3 knight after he goes d4. So. 
I'm not sure. Not sure at all. Let's see. Bishop f4. Ah, bishop f4 is not, not probably that good because of the d4 knight e2. I want to go to f4 with my knight, not uh, not with uh, with anything else. So e5, knight h5, yeah, is the question. Is it good for me or is it good for him? Let's see. We can also go to e8, but uh, then I thought at least it's sort of playable position. Yeah? So, yeah, I don't know. It's not so impressive, but it's at least playable, I thought. Wow. Let's see now. I should, should be able to. So now knight takes d5, he can take on f2, and eh? that's his idea. And other moves, knight a4 maybe. I mean, just I just want to stabilize him yeah, and block his pawn. Then I'm better for sure. But but can I? I mean, I should be able. Uh, mm -hmm. That's an interesting decision. He's not afraid of knight takes e6. And I need to ask him why not. Rook b8, queen c2. I think queen c2 is a threat. Says it's very difficult for him to uh, keep keep uh, c6 guarded. Knight b5, take, take, knight d4, maybe something like this. Some counterplay over there, but mm, how much yeah, counterplay? Maybe a lot. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, but knight b5, I think, is the only move. He has to try it. Uh huh. He takes, so he has some idea, a tactical idea, yeah, that e6, uh, let's see, take, take, square, square. Okay, let's see what happens. My idea is, I mean, he has to go there, so now I take. Next, I go e6, if he takes. And then two of my guys are hanging in the end, so I'm not doing fantastically, unfortunately. Yeah, this was too much. Uh, I mean, not not the way to proceed, I guess, unfortunately. Can I still be better is the question. Am I even equal is another question. Okay, let's try this. Yeah. He has a lot of counterplay in such ending, I guess. But let's see. Okay, I should speed up also. It's going to be an ending, so it's going to be many moves. And then I need a lot of time to execute those moves. Let's see. Uh-huh. I think the bishop ending is very dangerous for him because then my outside past pawns are very strong. But if he keeps the rook, he should be active enough. It's my guess. But who knows? Ah, uh, come on, yeah, it was uh, one repetition too many. I thought, uh, I thought I only repeated twice, but okay. Anyway, there was not enough time. So C4, let's see what's going on, C5. It's copying my, some hedgehog. See, now queen c8 is the new fancy way of playing this position. I really don't think it matters much. See, knight a6 maybe. The idea is to be able to go d5 in one move, some, some versions, but uh, 
Yeah, d6, he takes, I play rook d8. Looks very dodgy for me. Rook d8 first, knight b5. Might be very bad for me. Come on, yeah, the problem with not playing d6 is that sometimes you never get it. Okay, now I, at least I get d6. Uh, if knight b5, I can... I mean, first of all, there is e5, but if he, later I can also play knight e8. Let's see. He needs to go back with the queen, knight c5. Knight e4, maybe he's coming. At least if he doesn't do anything very indirect, b4, knight e4. Usually this one is taken with the bishop. Now queen should go to b7. Maybe put some pressure on the c pawn. Mm -hmm. See, at least I have no problems here. But am I better? This is very unclear. Now I think I'm quite a bit better because there is knight e4 after bishop g5. So this was a bit lucky. Let's see, queen d5, I take, he takes to the knight. Uh huh, he goes. He goes for this, but I really didn't believe it worked. Let's see. Thought I had some knight b3, knight d4, but problem is for him it's a bit sad, but his bishop is still very almost trapped. So yeah. Okay, this was not great. So, I mean, assuming the game is is over, then it was still not not a great game. Yeah. This is his fighting. Queen e4, maybe. Maybe I should not have played queen e4. Now it's hanging on d6 and rook c6. There, I oh, come on. What am I doing? I have to go back. And then it goes knight d5. Oof, what did I do? Okay, I should play h6 first. Let's see. I come on. Yeah. Let me just uh, give back some of the material. Um, I queen d2, then he goes, and then he has a check. I move my king. Let's see now, queen d1, queen d3, queen e1, queen e4. Let's see. About a5, but he's uh, for every pawn trade, he's getting closer to the draws. So I'm not, uh, I'm not impressed with myself to put it mildly, but still, the queen is usually too big a piece, for such things to work. Rook e8, f6, maybe just keeping the threats. Now there is check and check on b7. Yeah. Yeah, maybe even it was the correct technical decision to give back the exchange, but it was it was not planned. <laughs> so I can't be too proud of myself. Okay, let's see. Let's continue this discussion because I think at least here I was never worse, if I understood correctly. Mm -hmm. so he was maybe listening to what I said yeah, and goes for better setup. What is this? Can I take? He takes with the knight. All my pieces are misplaced. Doesn't look great. But this also doesn't look great. Soon he takes and plays bishop c2 and I'm losing this pawn. That's such pawn I lost many times. Uh, knight h4, he takes and it's going to happen. Knight a4. Not a very nice looking move. With e5, it's sad, but maybe it's the sad reality, sad necessity. Yeah. So now, okay, there is one idea to go with knight on, on, on a, to a5, but it's very slow and also not achieving a lot. Mm -hmm. 
my other idea is to play f4 to stop him from going e5, but yeah. Yeah, it's not not impressive. Should I include g4 or not? Let's try. Mm -hmm. I take, let's see, what is this? I take, he takes, next he goes f5, then he's a bit better positionally. If I play f5, he plays what? He takes maybe, and gets his knight to d5, and it's not great. Oh, this was not, uh, not my dream. On the other hand, there is a limit to how bad it can be, I guess. Maybe that limit somehow changed now because I allowed his knight. And I allowed him knight f6. I need to play e3, my problem. After knight d5, I need to have e3. But then positionally is a disaster. So double on the g file and try to just hold. Maybe I should bring my king over as well. Maybe I can play knight e5 in some moment if he's not careful. Now maybe I allow g5, but to g5 takes the yeah, it's not great. Maybe h4, just okay. I'm just trying to limit the, the damage is done, but Okay, let's see now. I could have tried it to trade rooks, but I think it's better to go for some counterplay. Well, counterplay is strong, but uh, pretending to go for some counterplay. Uh, it's not so easy for him to actually make progress. Uh, check d5. I want to go like this. Mm -hmm. So he's very smart. He's not allowing uh, any tricks. Knight d6, maybe. Knight e5. Knight e5, maybe he takes. Why not? I mean, I'm not trying to get activity at any cost here. So if he takes, at least I'm sort of getting some, I get the post pawn. And maybe I can come with my bishop later on. He probably smartly avoids. No, my g6 is not good. You can take on c6, but it looks very slow. Bishop c3, maybe. Bishop c3 doesn't help. Maybe it also doesn't hurt. Let's see. So I give check. Now he takes. Hmm. Can you play king f8? It looks very clumsy. Rook g5. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, if he really wants knight e7, then sure, he can have it. I'm assuming at some point soon he will take king g1. This is now. Knight g4. He takes, I play rook f2 maybe, huh? That's my idea. Now I should be close to, to surviving at least. Now a very strange situation happened that my opponent only had a knight and I lost on time and I was awarded a draw. But I think technically the rules state that I should lose this game. If it would have been a feeder game, I would have lost. 
like early rest and lost against Magnus in the World Championship. So not sure what I feel about this extra half point. Yes, in internet uh, we it's, yeah, it's yeah. still draw because uh, <laughs> yeah. to avoid this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So what should I do now? Maybe we should be so. <coughs> At least I played when I was a kid. It was bad then and it's probably as bad now. Let's see. How was it we played? We played some H5. Yeah? And when they took, it was possible to, ah, oh, but it was possible to, uh, to regain the pawn. But they did not play bishop g2, I think, in the old days. So maybe if he takes now and then just bishop f3 and he keeps keeps the keeps the center. Okay, this was a bit strange, I thought. Now I really want to play some some tricky stuff, but I'm not. Bishop d6 takes check and take on h1, maybe. Is it just nonsense or is it interesting? What else? Knight b6 is a move. It's not really punishing him. Maybe I don't need to punish him. Okay, let's try some random stuff. Knight f8, maybe. Okay, I think generally when I'm spending more than 10 seconds, I make a far weaker move than my original intention. But, uh, <laughs> that's my uh, experience so far. Let's see. Now I'm really doing my best to get all my stuff, all my pieces prepped, but let's see. Maybe if that gives me some counterplay, actually. Uh, because if he takes my knight, it will be huge on f5. And if he doesn't take, then it's a bit unpleasant for him to keep g4 protected. So let's see. Knight f4, eh? it looks sensible. Takes, you can even take with, with the pawn, maybe. So now he might have positional threat of uh, of g5, but I'm not that convinced. Queen b6 though was incredibly risky because queen e2, and I have a lot of pieces on the. Can I take on d4 now? It looks take rook. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Hmm. Bishop g1, queen f6, he can play g5. Ah, bishop g1, queen c4, of course. Why? What am I talking about? c4, your yeah, straights. And then I'm confident. I'm, actually, I'm not because he can still play g5. So, <laughs> so it's still maybe a positional mess. But uh, let's see, knight d5. It takes, I take with, with the knight, bishop. Now bishop g3 is, is my next, if I'm allowed, which I am. He plays g6, I guess. King d7, now he can play bishop h3, which I missed. Which is quite, quite a big move. What should I do? I don't like it at all, but uh, I don't know. Maybe six. Running lots of risk here. Uh, well, simply because his pawn is potentially potentially just queening. On the other hand, if it isn't queening, then I'm, I'm a pawn up for what it's worth. Okay, this was probably a welcome change. Now, I'm at least not worse. I'm probably quite a bit better. Okay.
let's see now. Yeah, it's actually winning in the end, but of course, if you defense a bit more accurately, which is impossible to do with so little pound, then it's a draw. He needs to attack my pawns in the right way, but it's, it's not so easy to do. Aha, uh -huh, he changes. Hmm, let's see. It's possible to take the pawn on c6, but but uh, why black gets some counterplay and it's not that straightforward, and especially in blitz, it's impossible to keep keep all this counterplay under control. So we play some normal moves instead. And I'm my main aim here is to not plunder anything. Let's see, queen d2 maybe. Which is actually not that easy because it's easy to plunder any of the numerous tricks black has here. Like this bishop a1, rook c1 setup is also very, very weak, I think. For me. Uh, I mean, I simply have, I have to. Uh, Degrade my rook uh, to a1 again. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So basically, the big point here is that black doesn't really have any active possibilities at all. So it's easy to make make moves with white. Let's see. So this is a little bit unpleasant for him, hopefully. Like, uh, he doesn't really want to play f6, but on the other hand, the, uh, without f6, it's not, uh, not an envious task. Let's see. So h5, he goes queen e7. Hg, hg doesn't give so much. The knight f3 is maybe more interesting now he wants. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. But the nice thing about this is that even if you don't do anything or you do something wrong, you're still usually a bit better. Okay, let's see. Not the way I'm playing it though. I might even even struggle somewhat. Let's see, I'm hoping that this pawn on, on d6 is a bit loose. Uh, which is not unreasonable, but on the other hand, if he at some point space e5, I'm not sure that I can make that much use of uh, use of the of the weaknesses that he, it creates. So like like e5, rook d5, bishop f7, my rook is trapped. Uh, Okay, I'm a bit curious where if I can maybe sacrifice it, but uh, probably not. Yeah, now it's a bit sad. Uh, the, whole, the whole thing turned out like uh, a bit sad for me. That uh, my rook is a bit misplaced. E5, I don't think I can make any use of any use of. Let's see. Bishop e6, bishop d5 was my big idea here. Or not sure big, but it was my idea. Queen c2, he got bishop g6. Uh, this is nothing. This is more. This was a luck, lucky shot. But uh, after the trade of the light squared bishops, I think I was already uh, maybe even slightly better because my knight will come to g4 and he has some, some weaknesses and so on. 
Um, uh, but I think if he moves the bishop with bishop g6 instead of uh, trading, then uh, he's just doing quite fine. Uh, that's what I think, but uh, such positions are always a bit messy. They look so nice for, for black. You make some normal moves and then you end up worse. Let's see this again. What is this? I like my position after knight c6. Now he goes there instead. That's probably more reasonable. But this I have played actually, especially when I was a bit younger. I liked the idea of, uh, of just uh, advancing my pawns in front of the king. Often you can even castle castle short anyway, even if you advance the pawns because you have so many pieces on the king's name. So this f3 is possible, and now he should cast along. And it's surprisingly much counterplay for the uh, compensation for the pawns. This, though, is already a bit uh, a bit too passive, if I, I think, uh, if I recall correctly. Because now there is like h3 completely busts his white squares on the on the king side. Uh, and also, I mean, long term, my, my idea with pushing all these pawns is that uh, is that I get access to the square on e4 for my knight. So let's see. Uh, what is this? I, let's see. I take, take, take here maybe. Just take. I mean, yeah, it, it's it's a bit sad for, for white this. Uh, I mean, normally you sacrifice. Maybe this H and G pawn to get such a nice knight, and the bishop is coming to F5, and uh, yeah, it's uh, and I have not sacrificed anything. I have sacrificed the bishop pair, but his bishops are not not that good at the moment, at least not as far as I can tell. So uh, let's see. I guess I should just try to develop. I mean, it's possible to play some sort of nonsense with a5 and so on but or here also rook h3 bishop g2 knight takes f2 it's possible but okay why not just play it simple so let's say i take he takes with the bishop probably uh, i just want to play bishop e4 trade the bishops and then but should i play bishop e4 now i'm getting a bit let me bring my rook. Ah, oh, but then bishop f4. Yeah, this, this was not tidy. Bishop h4 also. Okay, let's move the queen e6 maybe. Okay, I want to get knight a5 in some moment. Because then, like, there's some nice squares there, some very juicy squares. Some, like, b3, c4, and so on. Everything is weak over there. But probably I'm not getting it. B6. Okay, now I really wanted to get it. What about knight a5 anyway? Take queen c6, queen c2, it's not enough. Knight e7, king b2. Eh? a6. Now I want knight a Ah, oh, that's so bad. I don't want that. It's completely incorrect way. way I'm playing. Now c7 is hanging. Knight b5. Okay, knight b5. At least I'm going to. Now a4 comes. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 This was very bad. Huh? Na, na, na. Oof. Such a nice position. So completely ruined. Yeah, it's, it's a big waste. Hmm. He wants queen c6, huh? King a7. Yeah, no. Oof, oof, oof. Queen c6, maybe he's considering, or bishop take d6 is another very tempting move. It should be five. Oh. Uh huh. What to do about bishop b5? Takes king b7. 
This was not my dream. Let's see if I can trick him somehow. C7 is hanging, I just noticed. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, let's see. Yeah, am I mated now? Mm -hmm. ah, why did I give my rook when he had no time at all? Now <laughs> we have the same situation as before, but reversed. But, uh, in corporate chess, it would be winning for uh, for me this time, but uh, on uh, on the internet, that's not the case. Let's see what is this. Same line again, and I'm not taking this pawn ever, ever in my life. Bishop, uh -huh. yes, some ID. No. Some 94, some trick, something I don't see, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, there. Usually when they go too early on a5, you can put the bishop on d2 instead, and it's sort of nice. Uh, I'm not sure this is one of the cases, but let's see. Mm -hmm, 95. D8, now move the rook. Now some B5 IDs. Let's see. Uh -huh. he, he goes B5, but I take. Uh, so he protects. I, let's say, should I take or should I not take? Why not take and play Bishop H3? Uh huh. This is okay. If I take and play queen e2, he takes. It's not not super impressive for me. What about c5? Takes, takes. Uh, it's also not nice. I think I just I just misplayed it a bit. Uh, okay, let's say I take. I play knight d4. How is this? What should I do? Take with rook, maybe. Oops. I'm playing it so badly. Queen d4 now comes. Oof. What about queen b7? Let me try. If he has to go rook e8, then uh, actually I'm not doing that badly. Let's see. But what else? He cannot really give e7. Hmm? Can he? What is he thinking about? Rook e8, I take an a6 and pawn off, but no. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yes, some counterplay, some very dangerous counterplay. But maybe I also have some counterplay. King f7. Yeah, I was afraid of such move. What can I do? C5. Let's go. But what was my idea? That's that's the problem. Queen c7, maybe. Now I have some tricks. 
and then maybe queen c6 if he plays but he doesn't to get out of the way here Now it actually should be a draw. Oops, I pre-moved too much. He of course expected me to take on c3 and then it takes an e4 and he has some winning chances in the rook ending, but that was uh, that was very uncharacteristic from him. So that was you know, <laughs> not, uh, not the most impressive way to end. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Good match, right? Uh, I think, uh, I mean, some of the games were pretty terrible, like the last game was... Uh, not very good at all, but uh, but some of the games were were pretty decent. I think some some good fighting. Yeah? Yes, I like it. Your uh, your end game in the last one, not not this one, in the other one. <laughs> you <laughs> forced the draw, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the second, I managed to find the <laughs> way to get everything. Yeah, it was. Very but fun. I think in that game, I was also like mate in three in some point in the middle game. So. Yes, okay. I don't, I don't know what happened. I mean, all, almost all of the games could have gone either way, I think. So. No, really, I think uh, you played very good and really the stream was very good. Then uh -huh, congratulations. And okay, good luck now in Tata Steel. I hope to see you very Yeah, high. thank you very much. It will be very fun to play. Huh? We'll follow. Yes. Okay, and thank you very much and uh, see you. you in the next uh, round of Banter Blitz Cup. See you. See you. Thank you see very you. much. See you. Bye. Bye.